Hello, guys and gals. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is in your area, in your neck of the woods. JT here, and you're probably wondering why you're not looking at a motorcycle. Well, I have come to do some soul searching, and even though I do have a great passion and a history with motorcycles, I'm not just all about motorcycles. Um, I'm going to give credit to a very uh, lovely lady by the name of Adrian Diggs, who also went by uh, Triumph. Was it Triumph Chick? Triumph Girl? Triumph Chick, I think. But, um, you know, she basically came out and said, I am not just all about motorcycles. I do more things. I like to do video games, and she's an artist and all this stuff. And so that kind of, people expect to see motorcycle stuff, but she's... A lot more than that and I'm saying to myself yeah I'm kind of like that too because even though I love motorcycles I have other passions also I'm also a uh, gun armor and um, currently work in law enforcement and I also love to collect knives and use knives um, so I said to myself why not make a video of some things that I actually have a passion for and this is one of them and I have a confession to make which you're going to see later on in this video. I went a little bit overboard buying knives recently, maybe because of the boredom that has been going on with this COVID crap and things have been really slow at work. And so you just play with your phone all day and start looking at YouTube videos and, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. And click, 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 put in my cart. So I've been very bad and I have a confession to make. I pretty much bought every knife in my wish list every knife and that's what this video is going to be about opening that and if you saw a picture of all the knives that have come to me it's been really really hard not opening these boxes every day so i've saved this moment for you the viewer so you can see all of these uh reveals and uh New box or what do you, what do you call these uh, open box uh, videos or whatever. So that's what I've done. And here to introduce or to start my video, I picked one of the most attractive knives out there. And this is a Benchmade North Fork. And it is really one of my favorite knives. Um, Axis Lock, this beautiful, uh, I know it's not really wood, but... Um, some type of a uh, composite wood that they use there, pressed. Um, but look at the beauty of this thing. Sharp as can be. So the problem is I forgot what is in all the boxes. And um, I'm also going to do a giveaway in this video. My first one, I'm going to give away one of these knives in this video. So um, I've already promised one of the... I'm going to actually give away two. I've already promised one knife to someone... I'm not going to mention any names, and um, hopefully they are watching the video, And um, but I, I bought another one. So I have two of these knives, and uh, I'll tell you how to um, get the knife later on in the video. So I'm going to open my first box. This is coming from, let's see, Nolan Hale. Actually, you know what? No, I think I know what this is, so I'm not going to open that for now. Another one here. Let's get something good. Um, okay, this is from Bento Box, and I've never ordered from them. I have to admit their website is really weird. It's it's probably the worst website I've ever seen. Um, but they had the cheapest knife prices that I saw with um, Spyderco, and I think this is a Spyderco. But let's see, let's see what this is. Try not to get caught on. Thanks, I appreciate that. Is this like some invisible code? The hell? Oh, there's another one. Yes. Did they write something with lemon and I gotta like stick it over the fire or something? All right, awesome. All right, and I have some free coupons. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually pretty cool. 
when they ship stuff from other newspapers and stuff. Because <laughs> um, anyway, let's see what this is. Da -da -da -da. It's a spider co. I forgot what this is. It is a. Uh, it doesn't say there either. What the other side? C22. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it's made in the USA, so it's from Colorado. That's good. Oh, it's a para three in the blurple G10. Man, that is really cool. Look at that thing. Hold on for a second. All right, get rid of this. And the box. And the secret code. And this. Man. Let's take a gander at that. That is just beautiful. This is this is really attractive, let me tell you. Ow. Um, that G10 is solid. And I apologize for the lighting. This is my first time at this. I literally have the camera held up, uh, duct taped to a spatula and in a vice grip. So let's do the obligatory comparisons of size. This is a paramilitary three. Obviously, the little brother to the Para 2. And here is a uh, bottle cap. Yeah, I know. I know you guys are saying, oh, yeah, but dude, I know where you got that from. All right, fine. You don't like that comparison? How about this uh, Glock 19? There you go. Here's a Glock 19 for you. Am I bleeding? I just got cut with the North Fork. fork. Okay. There you go. How about that? Does that work? Okay. Um... So yes, I'm into knives and guns and motorcycles. And if that comparison is not good enough for you, what else we got here? Um, how about this mini AK-47, which I've beat up to death. All right. Um, what else I got here? Okay, here's the standard. Here's the standard. Here you go. For all you knife people. Mini grip. In blue. I really got cut. Look at that. Can I show this on YouTube? I got cut. Man, that thing is sharp. Man, this is cool. All right, there's a lot of a lot more boxes, so let's keep going. Let's push the... Oh, look at this compression lock. Cool. All right, very good. Let's put that aside right there. Let's put the griptilian aside. Let's open another box. This is from Bond Distributing. Bond Distributing and Bond Distributing. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Man. Six minutes into the video and I'm already bleeding. Yo, what's up? Look at this. What the heck? Okay. I really don't remember what this is. What the hell is this thing? What? Oh, this is from Knife Ships Free. Cool. They sent me a little mat. You know why? Because I've probably spent like, I don't even want to say how much money. And we have another Spider Co. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, Lord Jesus. Man, you guys rock. Look at this, bottle opener, yes. And a Benchmade. I don't know what this is. There's a spider cord, there's a Benchmade. Holy crap, you guys, wait a minute. Another Benchmade. You guys sent me a freaking hat. Oh man. See, this is, this is some cool stuff. I'm putting this thing on it right now. Since 2007. That's cool. You guys rock, man. I love you guys. All right. Let's put this aside. And I'm going to put this hat on. Woohoo! And let's open up some boxes. So we have a Spider Co. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, oh. you know what? All right. There's a story behind this. It's a Para 2. 
And you're like, yeah, right, big deal. I sold my Para 2 and I regret it. I sold it on eBay one time and I said, you know what? I'm gonna get another Para 2. And um, this is the exact same one that I had before. I know there's other colors and everything, but I said, you know what, if ever, I get another chance, I'm gonna get another power two. And that's what I got. So compression lock. And just to show you the comparison between the para three and the para two, there you go. Let me put this down. I don't wanna, I don't know what this bench mate is, man. I'm dying, I don't know what this is. All right, so here we go. And there. Wow, that's a big difference. And there's the blade. And for comparison, here is a Batmobile. It's Matchbox, by the way. Okay, let's put these aside without cutting myself again. Because there's, there's, there's a crap load of boxes here, guys. Let's see what this is. What is this? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. It's a Dell at the four, Emerson. And this is an awesome knife um, for many reasons. The Emerson Wave is my preferred type of carry for self-defense. I carry this, um, I'm gonna have to switch the uh, clip around, but. I carry this um, on my weak side for, because obviously I'm right-handed, so I carry my weapon, a sidearm on the right side, and um, this is what I, this is my go-to for uh, weapon retention, if ever I need be. I don't carry, I'm right-handed, but I always carry my knives on the left side because I'm uh, right-hand dominant, so this is gonna be my plan B. Emerson Blade, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so we have here Emerson. So far, three spider crows. You can tell I like spider crow. Man, you guys rock. They sent me this. Why not? Hold up. You know what? See, this is what you guys get. You get free advertising, man. Knife ship for free. Okay. Well, you also get advertising for free. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Benchmade. I don't know what this is. Handle with care. Oh, get dokey. I think I know what this is. Let's. It says protagonist. Okay, I remember what this is. Yes, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be a nice um, hiking knife for me. Ooh, that feels nice. That feels really nice, man. This is gonna be great for backpacking. Um, I'm gonna molly this thing up. And um, I got a great deal on this. I think this was uh, less than a hundred bucks for this knife, Benchmade. Man, look at that, partially serrated Tonto blade. What do you think? That's cool. All right, let's keep going. Cause I have a surprise for you guys. There's also uh, my first out the front automatic is going to be in this video. And uh, I, I don't know what box it's in, so just bear with me here, and we will see. You guys rock, man. Hold up. Bam. Um, okay, next box. Let's, I know this is um, Blade HQ because of the packaging. I don't think I need a knife to open this. Let's see. But of course, I am all thumbs and they taped the opening, so this is gonna have to get cut open. What is this? No idea. It's like Christmas. Why did they put it in another freaking box? What, what the, why did you do that? Okay, I'm gonna slice a finger open here opening these boxes oh okay cool 
peanuts. What is this? Kershaw? Kershaw and peanuts. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Come on, you mother sucker. Is this what I think it is? What is this? <gasps> oh, it's my first ballet song. I forgot the name of this. Man. Come on. Okay. Um, so the guy at uh, Blade HQ talked me into this. Bella song. I was going to get a bench made, but he said this one is um, his favorite. And I forgot the term. Man, I forgot the name of it. But anyway, man, let's see what this is all about. Wow, that's really cool. So I don't know anything about ballad songs. This is my first one. Um, I will probably really cut myself if I try to mess with this thing here. I think I got that. Man, that is a nice one. That has a nice action on it. That's all I know how to do with this thing. So, um, and I apologize. I forgot the name of this. Oh, La Lucha. La Lucha, which means to wrestle in Spanish. Let's keep this right here. Um, size comparison. Uh, how about this? This, man, this is a mess. This is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. Peanuts, out of here. Get out of here, peanuts. Uh, for battle song, how about this uh, can of albacore tuna? There you go. Man. That is one nice knife. Okay. Next. What is this? Okay. There is an out the front in here somewhere. Let's uh, let's do another bench um, blade HQ. That is one sharp mini grip. Another freaking package in a package. All right, there's a bench made in here. And there's there's two bench maids. And there's this. I don't know what this is. No idea. Oh, yes. It's a, my K-Bar bottle opener. I'm going to give this to my boss because it's, uh, it's been pretty stressful. And this also can serve as a striking weapon here that's cool yeah all right let's put that aside bench made no idea what this is oh hold on it's my first bug out i've never never had a bug out before i heard a lot of stuff about it great things i'm a little concerned that it's going to be a little bit too light for me i like knives that have a little heft to it so Let's see what this craze for the bug out is. You guys already know if you like knives that it comes in this little stupid pouch. Okay, now I got this one for a specific reason. By the way, I'm gonna give a shout out to Rebecca from Blade HQ who talked me into this one. She's a sweetheart. She said that this, um, this one is a little cooler because it's all blacked out. And I think it's, is it this? Is this this uh, Griven stuff? But this is all blacked out and I guess it's supposed to be a stronger material. All right, this is my first bug out. I like it. Um, it reminds me of this Mel Pardue that I have also which has the same feeling to it, that same lightness. If you like light knives, um, that's cool. So my first bug out. Okay, I like it. And it'll be not my everyday carry, but it'll be uh, 
probably when I have to put a suit on or something. And this is what? <gasps> My first Benchmade Auto, not out the front, but I think it's an auto. Cosba, take me to the Cosba. All right. Man, this is a hell of a knife. So I think this has a lock that you have to unlock and then, yep, there's a lock to it. That's nice, man. The Benchmade Casba. Let's put that right there so you can take a gander at it. And uh, you wanna see the Glock again? No, there's no room. Okay, so there's the Casba next to my mini grip. I like that. Deep pocket carry. Man. Ooh. It's a push button. It's a nice action. Obviously, I like Benchmade. And I I, I know. I've been going, oh, it's got a lock to it. That's really cool. Nice little stone wash. Uh... This is going to be a long video. I apologize. I'm going to have to make another part to this thing. All right, as soon as I get to my out the front, my first out the front, I'll stop the video, okay? I promise. Did I open this already? Yes, I got all these boxes. Okay, okay. give me, what is this? Another bond distri distributing, I don't know what this is. Let's open it with this part two. Oh, another bench made. My goodness. Oh, I definitely went overboard with the bench maids. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. This is a mini Presidio limited edition. I think it's in the bronze. It's going to be my first numbered limited edition knife and you are seeing it for the first time <gasps> wow that is cool this is now this is a cool knife man this is really cool access lock man it's got nice weight to it Look, I still got blood on me. Man, it's gonna take some breaking in, but mm, access lock. Does this, does it have a number on it? Limited edition. The hell? I can't read that number. I'm blind. Okay, it got a number on it. I can't see it. Can you see it? I don't know what that says. Something out of something. And I don't ever see I see that uh, that number staying there very long because it's that's cool. Mini Presidio 2. Okay, let's keep moving on. I got all these boxes here. This really is like Christmas. Come on out the front. Where are you? Okay. Let's open this from Roger Claunch with our mini Presidio, Presidio here. I think this is um, Knife Works, if I'm not mistaken. I, I feel really bad if it if it isn't. Man, you guys take this up really nice. Man, that's really cool, you guys. Uh, knife shit for free. Mantis, this is cool. Um, this is getting shipped out to Rebecca. Rebecca, this is your Mantis for being so cool. Look at that. I don't want to take it out of the plastic, but basically this is a uh, neck knife that you open up. And uh, yeah, 
is for sweet Rebecca for being so cool to me. This is a Hogue. Hogue, 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 Hogue. What is this? Which Hogue is this? Oh, it's the... No, 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 no. Yes, yes. This is the Doug Ritter. This is the Doug Ritter. I think I bought it in orange. Let's see. And for those of you that don't know what the uh, deal with Doug Ritter is, he used to be a... He used to partner with Benchmade for their knives and they broke apart and Hope picked them up. And this is an awesome knife. This is a, this is an awesome knife, man. The Doug Ritter RSK MK1 G2. That's cool. It's basically a gigantic reptilian. <laughs> All right. How, how far do I keep going with this? And it comes with this cool case. Do I, do I open another one? I'm going to have to make part two of this video. You know what? Here, here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stop here because I want to keep this under half an hour and I'm already at 26 minutes. I promised I would do this video. Um... I'm sorry, I would do a giveaway, and this is what I'm giving away. So, I've already promised one of these knives to someone. Because it reminded me of her. She is a motorcyclist. And I saw this. Gas Monkey Garage. Wrinkle, wrinkle Grip Drop Point. 420 stainless, bead blast, finish, anodized. So I am going to give one of these away. Um, I'll tell you what. I don't know. I, I'm just going to randomly pick someone from uh, my comments. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a code at the end of this video and then... Uh, I'll tell you what to put in there, but this is what I'm sending out to Adrian, Adrian Driggs, Adrian, Adrian. anyway, Adrian, I'm sending this out to you, okay, because you're cool, and uh, I appreciate your videos, and um, every motorcyclist needs a knife, all right, if you ride motorcycles, this is a tool, just like anything else, and if you ride a bike and don't carry a knife, get one, Um, what should I do? Okay, just type in, in your comments, JT, I want a knife, all right? And uh, I'll send out to you this other one. You're going to have to somehow, I don't know, inbox me or something, and then I'll uh, send it to your PO box or something like that. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to make part two of this as soon as I'm done, okay? Stay tuned because I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 10 more boxes. Ciao, ciao.